pesticides control countless pests that destroy our crops, but they need to be delivered in a way that is easy to store and transport. This means they normally come as powder or concentrated liquid and then need mixing to the right concentration to use on the farm. Get the mixing wrong and you will kill your crops. First of all, before going to the farm, I have to dress the way I am in my body. I have to wear the gloves, the mask, the goggles, and the boots for ready to go to the farm to spray. The first thing I do is I put the water in the knapsack sprayer halfway. Now I have to measure the amount of the herbicide that I'm going to use. This reed has some readings, it is calibrated and this, this knapsack sprayer is a 20 liters. 20 liters require 200 ml. I'm going to measure 200 ml. Now after putting the herbicide, I'm going to, the, to fill the knapsack sprayer until full with the water after putting the, the herbicide so that the, the herbicide will mix well with the water. However, mixing up the right formulation must be done carefully. Of the 370 pesticide formulation registered by the PCPB, 19% contain highly hazardous active ingredients, while 36% are moderately hazardous. For this reason, the labels of registered pesticides give detailed instructions on how to mix up your pesticides. Now you know, when mixing my pesticide, I choose the location carefully away from things like animals, food, and people. The other thing is that I wear my gloves and gas mask when mixing these chemicals, since many poisoning happens during this mixing. It is very important that you use a calibrated measuring cup because you will be able to tell the exact quantity of chemical you're using. When you over apply, you can burn your crops. When you under apply, you can waste the chemical because it might be of no use uh, to the crops you are applying. To ensure you have clean source of water, not just any source of water, it has to be clean source of water to avoid contamination, to avoid undue reactions um, with whatever other elements. It is good you use normal temperature of water, don't use hot water, don't use um, excessively cold water so that you do not get to freeze or um, burn your crops. It's good you use normal temperature. And if you can see from the weather, when you're spraying, the temperature should be mild. Don't spray under hot sun and don't spray immediately. Don't spray um, when it's about to rain. Just spray when the weather is appropriate. Most you use your uh, your point, your sprayer to stir to ensure that there is an equal uniform mixture. You stir it and you're done stirring. Can cover. Yes, when I used warm water, my pump started corrode and that almost damaged my pump. When I used muddy water, the spray was not effective and I could still see pests attacking my crops. You need to leave a little space at the top of your knapsack sprayer for pressure to be able to force it out so that you can have a fine spray.